السلام علیکم ان دس گریپلنگ ہک ٹوٹوریل سیریز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک اے گریپلنگ ہک گیم مکینکس لائک یو آر سینگ ان ہیئر ان دس یو کین سی ان اینی ڈائریکشن اینڈ ان وچ ایور ڈائریکشن یو سی دی لائن ٹریس ول ہٹ اینڈ ڈیٹیکٹس ایف وی کین موو ٹو دیٹ پوزیشن اور ناٹ ایف یس دین اوور گریپلنگ ہک کیبل ول اسٹارٹ ان گریس ان سائز اینڈ ول ہک ٹو دیٹ پوائنٹ After that, our character will start to move from our initial position to that uh, impact point. And while moving our character from uh, initial position to that uh, position, grappling hook, uh, sorry, the cable will start to decrease in its size and length. And when reaching the end point, uh, the cable will disappear. And after... Uh, and you can use this tutorial to make any type of grappling hook Uh, mechanics in your game for example if you are working on a spider-man type game or in any other type of game you can use it and it is working on all directions so you don't have to worry so wherever uh, the user see player see it will work so so it's going to be a four part series four part tutorial so you must have to see from part one to part four so you get and the basic understanding in if i get uh, some more ideas related to grappling hook i will make more parts and if you have any idea please write in comments so i will make a tutorial on that too so let's start our grappling hook tutorial let's start our grappling hook tutorial uh, first of all uh, i have this third person character you you can get this when you create a project with third person template so first of all um, before creating an actual grappling hook i want to give you a little concept if you want to increase the cable length from the origin point to the point where you want it to be uh, how you can do this so first of all i want to give you a little concept in a quick short time and then we will create a actual grappling hook so for that this is our character and we can add a cable component here make it a uh, child of our mesh now keep it as it is so now you can see its forward direction axis is x so if and uh, this is x and this is y and this is z if you want to increase the cable in that direction you have to uh, increase the uh, uh, increase value on the x axis in blueprints continuously on even tick or maybe on timer so that's how your cable will increase and on decreasing the value it will start to decrease if you want to make cable a bit flexible like it is now if you can if you see cable length is 100 if i increase the uh, length value here above 100 you will see that that sag or flexibility will start to decrease and it will uh, become more stiffer now you can see it is now less flexible so so now our length on the end location of the cable this is our end location this is the origin point of the cable and this is the end location of the cable now the end location is at 376 value from our origin so so it means its distance from origin to that point is 376 but our cable length is only 100 that's why it's kind of st stretchy and not flexible to make it more saggy and flexible you have to increase the value of cable length now as i'm increasing the length you can see it, it is getting more flexible now it's more and and how you can change the values and see what suits you best so on the blueprint side uh, so um, before jumping right into the blueprints there is another thing which is solver iteration so let's say um, now focus on that part okay now you see now i increase the solver iteration now you can see it 
most bit less now if i increase the value so now it's moving more why because solver iteration value um, determines how stiff your cable will be if the value is high then your cable will be more stiff if the value is low then your cable will be less stiffer and the number of segments uh, if i decrease the number of segment you will notice now i have three number of segments you can notice a segment here and a segment here and a segment here now there are three segments if you want to increase the number of segments you can increase also uh, you can enable collision from here and you can add force for example if you want to uh, it's our x-axis now I'm going to add a force on the y-axis uh, now you can see it is now it's bending in that direction because force is acting from that direction to this direction okay so uh, for uh, for more for if you want a more detailed uh, tutorial about explanation about the cable component uh, you can watch my previous tutorial uh, I I have given a link in the description also and also you can see a link here so you can see that tutorial first to understand the all the properties of the cable now uh, like uh, we increase the size of the cable from here what if we want to increase that value from our blueprints right before making making an actual grappling hook I want to give you a concept that how you can increase a value on the blueprint side once you get that idea then we can move towards the actual grappling hook so for that you have to make it zero and also the cable length to zero and now uh, come here now for example if I press R button the grappling hook will activate it where is R Now I'm not doing anything, just I will increase the size of the cable now. First of all, I will get the length of, uh, sorry, end location, which is definitely uh, zero, because uh, our, we have set the end location to zero. Now you can see it is here. Now if you want to increase the size continuously in length of cable, you have to add some value here. So we want to increase the uh, cable length on the x-axis. So for that, we have to add the value on the x-axis. Let's say uh, 50 or uh, 50 and then after that we will uh, set end location now here now uh, when i press r you will notice that our cable increases a bit and if i press r again it will increase again so here is our character now you see I am going to press R now you can see it increase and I am pressing R again and again now you can see the cable is increasing again and again and similarly if you want to uh, if now there is a problem here as we are increasing the size of the cable there is no sag or flexibility in here because the cable length is zero it's going to stretch it so for that we have to set the length of cable so first we will set the length and then we will set the end location or you can do in any way you want for that I am going to get a length vector length here to get the actual length of the vector then I'm plugging plugging it here okay and say now you will going to see now you see it is flexible and 
Now, it is um, uh, really <laughs> flexible and saggy right now. If you want to control it, we can uh, multiply a factor here. Okay. Float by float. And I think uh, let's multiply it by 1.05. Let's see how it behaves. Okay, it's better. Now, if we increase the value to 1.4. Now you see, the flexibility of the sag is increased now. And if you want to decrease it, uh, we, let's say we give the value of 0 0.7. Now you see. The flexibility, flexibility, the sag is really less and you can increase it a bit more. So this is the core uh, which we are going to apply in our grappling hook tutorial. The, and now you, uh, you, I think you will get the basic concept how it actually, how it will actually work. If you want to connect the origin with the end point now in uh, in the next we will do we will uh, give a line trace and for example the line trace hits here we will get a location from there and we will move a cable from that position the origin position to that impact point position so this was uh, I think uh, one more thing, if you want to increase, I am pressing R again and again and it is increasing. What if you want to increase automatically? So for that, uh, we can use event take or we can use timer right now. I am using simple delay uh, kind of loop here. So I am going to press R for the one time and it will start to increase on its own. Now it's increasing. Okay. Now, you can do whatever you want with that simple uh, logic. So, in the next tutorial, we are going to work on the actual grappling hook system. Uh, this was a basic uh, concept. Uh, how we will, how we will going to work on it. So, if you like it, please uh, subscribe, like and share the video. And also, uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, Allah Hafiz.